welcome Katie Flanagan. <laughs> Katie Flanagan, problem solver. Katie, welcome. Thank you. Uh, what's, what's the problem this week? Oh, all right, here's the problem. Companies are training their staff to befriend the customer. The thinking is that if we are their friends, then we will buy more from them. But that doesn't work, does it? There's a logic flaw there, because if you are my friend, you will just give me stuff. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I don't need to be friends with the sales staff, right, unless they're going to give me stuff. OK, so, so that's the problem this week. You, you don't want to make friends with, with sales staff. The thing is, it's not that I don't want to be their friend, I don't need to be their friend and I don't need to be answering their inane questions as I walk around the shops. I don't need to answer, so how's your day been so far? I don't need to answer, what have you been up to today? <laughs> you know what I've been up to? Nothing, all right, nothing. Are we all happy now? I've wasted my life, I'm doing nothing. Yeah, OK, okay. so your problem is with, like, small talk just in, in shops or generally? like. Like, is this annoying you now, us talking? <laughs> is it, has it gotten that bad? No, no, because I think you read me better than perhaps someone in a shop who doesn't know me. Like, if you saw me at a counter, a middle-aged lady buying a cardigan, I don't think the next words out of your mouth would be, so, got any plans for the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going clubbing in my frickin' cardigan. <laughs> what do you reckon? OK, I'm, I'm still... I'm still not 100% sure what problem we're solving. I think we're narrowing in on it. <laughs> Your anger management issues. Are we, are we, is that where we are with this? OK, admittedly, this started out as me trying to solve the problem of customer service, but it did get much bigger than that. And tonight, Chuck, I sit before you not as a problem solver, but a world changer. Check out what I've invented. <laughs> Hi! Oh. Got the day off today, have we? Oh, not really. Doing some shopping, having a bit of a splurge. Yeah, I'm in a shop. How's your day been so far? Oh, fine, thanks. Mm. Are you tired of being asked inane questions while you shop? Imagine if you could say what you're really thinking. Hi, how's your day been so far? Oh, my God. Taffeta, is it? Not even a name. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'll tell you how my day's been so far. It's pretty f***ing short. It's <laughs> pretty good, doesn't it? That's why you need the all-new Spleen Venter. Not speaking your mind can be frustrating, but speaking freely can cause distress. With Spleen Venter, you can speak your mind without offending anyone. Here's how it works. The angry tirade enters here and travels down into the vitriol bag. Once inside, the speech purification process begins. Spleen Venter uses a patented combination of spancohexadrine, anti fuckface and toilet <laughs> to produce a good, clean, non-toxic sentence every time. Use Spleen Venter in the car. Hello there. Ride safely, Mr Cyclist, and good on you for caring about the planet. Use it in the office. Hey, Kitty, we're having some hump day muffins in the break room. You want one? They're gluten-free. Great. Oh, you're an idiot. Who says hump day? For God's sake, why don't we just have some frickin'... Sorry, what was that? Whoa. Nom, nom, nummy. I love muffins. You're a great boss. Happy hump day, cha. Speak freely and don't get cancer. Not a guarantee. With the all-new Spleen Venter. Available now.